My name is William James, I'm the host of the Bald Book Geek, and I have attempted to record this video five times, and someone has phoned me each bloody time. Hello, good morning, and I need more coffee before I start today. <sighs> Don't you just love people? I'm going to say this here and now, all links to uh, Ryan Williamson's website are down below, so if you guys are interested in it, please head down. That will have all the information you need to get said book. So what is the book? Obviously it's a western, but not a western as you know. A story of the west that never was. The tale of a lawmaker and his quest for the widow's son leads him through the gates of hell. It also has a vampire slaying nun. She's rather fabulous. So, let's talk about the widow's son. This is a dark, genre-crossing, weird western. Different genres blended together, from steampunk to fantasy to the occult to a western adventure, and to quote John Douglas, I also linked to his channel, a modern book with a pulp sensibility, in the spirit of people like Robert E. Howard, who is rather amazing. Where do we start with this? First, the characters. Each character is distinct. Each character has their own voice, their own characterization. They have their own motivations, and each one is distinct that you never feel like you're reading a book where the characters merge into one. Each character's voice is unique, and that is such a refreshing thing to read in a book with a lot of characters. Even the background characters have personality, which is so fun and so refreshing. Then we have the world building. A an alternative western landscape. The world building is brilliant, concise, with great characterization of that as well. The, the world is almost its own character in terms of story. When you go into it, you get beautiful descriptive passages and parts of the book that, that really do paint this world in the most simple terms, but beautifully done. And you need good world building. Like I said, it's almost a character into itself. The, without the world, these characters wouldn't function. And the world they're in is not always the nicest place. But it's done beautifully. Story. Story structure is important. Story structure and writing are extremely important. The story structure of this is brilliant. The pacing is nice. When it slows down, it slows down with purpose. When it speeds up, it speeds up with purpose. It never feels like a slog to read. And that's, again, so easy for that to happen. Brilliantly done. And um, I will be reading more by Ryan Williamson. I, I will be reading a lot more by this writer. There's other stuff coming, and uh, Fistful of Demons is on its way, which is a Western anthology, but that's all in the description and all the doobly-doo downstairs. I'm sorry, I know that gives people trauma. John Green. <laughs> but yeah, brilliant characters, great writing, and just kind of this alternative history, steampunk fantasy thing, and I'm slightly loving it. I'm so looking forward to more from him. On the other side of it, every now and then you find a writer that you like, and when you like their writing style and you gel with it, that's what matters. It's very simple. You need to gel with this. The writing's accessible, but it's done... What's the phrase I'm looking for? The writing's accessible, but it's floral. It's poetic in places. Like I said, the pacing works. The way the sentence structure works with the pacing is also very intelligent. And long, long story short, just a book that I would give a 5 out of 5 any day. Brilliant writing, great character building, great world building, and just this flow of story that keeps you hooked, that you can't put down. This book isn't scared, and it doesn't hold your hand. It doesn't pat you on the head until you're a good boy for reading. It's a book that will take you into the gates of hell itself, and you will come out the other side wanting a hell of a lot more. So, as right now, as I've just finished reading this, hello from hell, and I will talk to you guys later. Tell me what you think in the comments below, as always. Goodbye.